Video posted on social media shows a Russian T-90 being destroyed by Excalibur. But what is Excalibur? And why does it matter? Excalibur is another one of the West's high-precision weapons that's having a dramatic effect on Ukraine's ability to defend its home from Russian invasion. Excalibur, otherwise known as the M982, is a 155mm extended-range guided artillery shell developed to be compatible with advanced towed and self-propelled artillery systems. The Excalibur is a GPS-guided and inertial-guided munition capable of being used in close support situations, 75 to 100 meters, and has a maximum range of somewhere near 25 miles. For the rest of the world, that's around 40 kilometers. Excalibur was first used operationally in May of 2007 in Baghdad, Iraq. Now that was against a suspected insurgent safe house. The CEP, or Circular Error Probable, essentially the accuracy of Excalibur, is listed as only 4 meters. Now that means that out of 100 units fired, at least 50 of those are going to fall within 4 meters of their desired target. For contrast on that, a standard 155 HE round, like the M795, has a stated CEP of 139 meters. The M549 Hera, or High Explosive Rocket Assisted 155 round, has a CEP of over 250 meters. This thing is surgical. It's designed with pinpoint relative accuracy in mind for high priority targets. That's what we're seeing here the T-90 being a high priority target. The T-90 is hidden from top cover for concealment using what appears to be netting, but a drone being likely used as a form of forward observer calls back its location to Ukrainians who are standing by just itching to get a T-90 off the battlefield. The effect is positive and the T-90 is removed with something of a spectacular display of a cook-off. The cost of Excalibur per round is somewhere under $70,000, and it isn't really known just how many M982s that Ukraine's received. According to DoD fact sheets, 3,500 approximately precision-guided 155 rounds have been handed over, or are allocated to be handed over, but to date, it's unknown exactly how many of those have arrived. Its effect is undeniable, though. Scores of artillery footage from Ukraine claim to be Excalibur, fired from a litany of Western systems capable, such as the M777, the Archer, and PZH-2000. Here's a quick montage of this thing in action against Russian armor and other weapons. Ukraine received the M777A2, a towed platform that has the appropriate upgrades such as guidance systems to allow Ukraine to fire Excalibur, but they're also in receipt of other European systems like the Archer and PZH-2000 that are also capable of firing Excalibur. Now, what are your thoughts on Ukraine's use of artillery after so many months? What's the next system that Ukraine should receive to defend itself? What's the next system that the United States would like to test in Eastern Europe? Answer any of those questions in the comments. Hi. I recorded this video a little while ago, if you can't tell. I just haven't had time to edit it yet. But I do have to take a second to talk about a sponsor. And the sponsor that I used in this video when I originally recorded it, I've already done on the live stream. So I hope you jump over and check out the live stream at some point, hopefully. Anyway, this video is sponsored by EuroOptic. I actually use EuroOptic quite a bit. Each time I need a new optic or binoculars or something for my kit, whether it's for the tactical games competition or for just outdoors trips, hunting, things along those lines, I use EuroOptic first. I like EuroOptic because, first and foremost, if they say it's in stock, 
it's going to be in stock. They also have one in two day shipping, which is their red shipping option. They're right out of Whitetail Country in Pennsylvania. And when you call and need some help from someone, it's going to be somebody that understands you, understands what you're looking for, and can help you out. Go check out EuroOptic. When you guys click on the link, either in the card above or down in the description below, it's going to take you to their Facebook page. I can't link you direct there because, unfortunately, they also sell gats. Uh, and YouTube frowns upon that. Click the link. That's it for this episode. Hit the like, sub, bell, and stay informed.